All right, knife gun guy out here testing my uh, survival knife and saw. I'm actually going to be doing a backpacking trip here in a couple weeks that uh, I'll probably have video on. It's going to be super cold out there. We're going up into the to the high Rocky Mountains. Um, I just want to make sure that my survival knife and saw are ready for what they need to be ready for for those type of conditions because um, you don't want either one of them to fail um, in that scenario because uh, fire making can save your life up there. Um, Alright, so let's just start with a couple of these. I'm just going to check the saw first, make sure it works good. It's a different saw than I've used in the past. Um, I used to use a folding saw, but I wanted something with a little bigger blade. That's a survival knife. Um, got a paracord handle on there. I want to make sure this guy's going to hold up. Um, and then the saw, I actually picked this up at Lowe's. It's really lightweight, good for backpacking. I can shove it in the same sheath as you just saw as the knife, so I just shove that in there, shove the knife in there, and they're both ready to go. Um, so let's see how the saw works out. Some wood here. Let's go like this. Let's move this over to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. I just want to make sure the saw is going to cut good. Seems to cut really well, really aggressively. Cuts pretty awesome, and it's super lightweight, really lightweight. All right, let's see how the knife's working out here. Let's take this big log, chop some wood with this knife. See that knot? And knots can make it really hard. You get a knot in that, can make it really difficult. Alright, let's chop something big, huh? Let's go like this and make kind of a base here for this. A lot of times you gotta chop into big logs because your moisture. This is a 4x4 post, but your moisture will be on a lot of times in the small uh, center area here. Um, so you got to chop off the outsides and then chop into the middle to get your uh, moisturized wood during the, uh, during the winter and during rain um, if the wood's got moisture in it. Alright, so let's just chop off. First off, a small kind of section of that. We'll take small pieces at a time. So that's a 4x4 post. Those are actually pretty dense, a lot denser than usually pine trees and stuff like that will be um, up in the mountains where we're at. So, And that's where we're going to get our good dry wood, right out of here in the center of that. Let's take another chunk of that off. Let's go right through the middle of this guy this time. So you can get these. These save all these. That's that sharp little tiny wood. It's good for starting your fire. Little tiny. In fact, some of these I'll probably even split with uh, a little bit smaller blade, um, like this Kershaw Skyline. I'm actually going to do a little review on this here. Stay tuned for watching that. Um, so you just keep splitting this stuff. A lot of this stuff. Push down. I don't even need to split it. Uh, yeah. 
And this is how you're going to make your fine important to wear gloves when you're doing this so you don't cut your finger off when you're up in the mountains. That's bad. So, yeah, looks like it works out pretty good. firewood with a saw and knife for camping, for backpacking, um, survival situation, backpacking where you got to stay lightweight. Let's see how this, uh, what this knife uh, cross cuts like here. There you go. Cross cutting really well, even out of a 2x4. Seems to be staying pretty sturdy, strong. That's good, that's what we want. So, yeah. Okay, and then how I carry this in my backpack, get as much moisture off as I can. I'll lube these up too, also. Then the saw, the saw just goes back into the sheath, just like that, fits in there nice. And the knife just goes back into the sheath like it's supposed to. And then that just goes on the side of my backpack, and this whole thing doesn't weigh very much at all good for backpacking and uh, yeah so that's what I use process firewood up in the backcountry um, I actually may get a different knife here pretty soon I might go with the K bar large buoy but uh, for now let's use this so thanks for watching subscribe for more vids I'll post that backpacking video oh, when we go up and actually do this stuff in the mountains start fires and have some fire making vid on there and uh, so stay tuned thanks for watching bye